what is up guys, I wanted to start a new series of videos, uh, circumstances have changed, I wanted to restart my channel, give it a reboot, um, essentially real talk to the camera, um, I wanted to start involving uh, YouTube more into my everyday life and uh, sort of seeing, seeing where I go with it really, uh, talking about experiences I've had, um, we'll get some car stuff in there, we'll get some computer stuff in there, pretty much a wide variety of things going on. Um, and some just day to day chit chat so uh, I hope you enjoy um, today I want to talk about something that's uh, quite important here in the UK anyway um, and that is car insurance uh, car insurance is a huge huge thing especially for people of my age I'm currently 19 um, if you're a student, if you're at uni uh, if you're a first time driver you'll know, you'll know the struggles of getting decent prices for your car insurance um, uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not here to advertise anyone, I'm, uh, there's no paid endorsements, there's no anything like that, it's just me talking to you guys you know, about my personal experiences, how I've, uh, how I've dealt with these things. So yeah, uh, in terms of car insurance, uh, there's a few things you need to look out for essentially. Obviously the car is the main one, people will tell you, you go for a car with a small engine, go for something that's uh, slow and, and unattractive and that is pretty much what you need to do. Um, it definitely varies from postcode. I will tell you now that when I was first looking at um, my first car, um, the cheapest car that I could find to insure was around like an O2 model Skoda Fabia, 1 litre or 1.2. Um, but then a friend of mine who lived up the road in the same postcode uh, found that his cheapest quote was with a 1.6 Volkswagen Bora, even though he was a year older at the time. So it is definitely worth shopping around, just get tons and tons of quotes. That is the, that is the main thing that you need to do, get tons of quotes. Um, so, uh, your postcode does affect things definitely, obviously there's nothing you can do about that, you can't lie about your postcode or where you live guys in your, uh, in your insurance application, you need to make sure that you give all the correct details because otherwise your insurance policy will be void. Um, so uh, the main thing is uh, postcode, is, postcode is a big one, job is also another big one, uh, I used to work in resale um, and uh, the, it was a reasonable price. Um, but then I changed address and then I also changed jobs at the same time. I became an IT analyst for a big company and um, uh, during that time uh, it, it reduced my car insurance premium by about uh, something on the lines of £15 a month which was quite a lot because I was paying about 170 at the time or 180 I believe, something along those lines so it doesn't make a big difference. Um, I would advise something that I did uh, when I first started driving, I started uh, driving at 17 got all my lessons out of the way, got the license, etc, etc. And uh, the main thing that concerned me was age. Age is obviously the biggest, biggest factor when it comes to car insurance. So I decided to wait until I was 18 to actually start my driving. Uh, I had the car and I had it just parked on the drive and I, I said, no, I'm not going to insure it until I'm 18. And the day I turned 18, I insured it and that reduced my premium by several hundred pounds for the year. Now obviously you can pay monthly instalments, my first year's car insurance was on a 1.2 litre Sour Ibiza which was around £2,000 with a black box installed. Black box obviously monitors your driving, some are better than others, the company I was with was Tesco Box Insurance and they're not very intrusive at all, they'll keep track on how many miles you do and they'll keep track on your driving but not once did they ever ring me and say you know you're driving too erratically and I just drove the same as everyone else does, so I, you know, I, I wasn't super sensible with it. So they're a company that I do recommend, and also if you go through their website, they do a club card discount. So if you, if you're, you and your, all your parents have a club card, you can get a, a probably up to like hundred pound off your car insurance by entering your club card on their uh, website. So it's definitely one to look out for if you're like first time driver. The uh, so about about two grand or thereabouts uh, is what I started out with, and it was it was probably. It was probably around that time I sort of started thinking, uh, you do shop around, the thing is, the reason I wanted to create this video for you guys is, um, you, you look around online and you see lots of different things, uh, different people's experiences and you see people's advice, but they're usually older people, there's not usually many people of our age that actually say, look, this is what happened, this is what to do. And I think that's very important, I think that's very important in this stage of life to have lots of guidance and to have people say, this is my experience, hopefully you can take something from it, so that's why I'm doing this. So, as I say, my first year, about £2,000, something on those lines, and uh, it then went on to be, on, I've just renewed, I got a new car before the end of my renewal, 
Getting a new car towards the end of the year, I was expecting it to put up a lot more. I went from a 1.2 litre Seat Ibiza to my current car, which is a 1.6 litre Vauxhall Astra, and I, I went for I made that jump uh, about three quarters of the way into my policy for the first year as, as an 18 year old, and it went from I was paying 169 a month, I believe, and it went from 100 no sorry 175, and it went from 175 to 185 or 190, something like that. So it wasn't too big of a difference. Uh, it was about 200 pound extra for the year, which was obviously split across the months. So it's, it's not the end of the world if you do, if something happens to your car, I crashed my car for instance, it was a non-fault accident, but that was all dealt with through the insurance and it wasn't as scary as an experience as you thought we might be. So anyway, uh, changing car, my second year now with one year's no claims on a 1.6 is now uh, 1,200 to declare, uh, with my accident declared as well. So. £1,200, not too bad, and obviously next year it'll go down more, and when you're 21 it is a massive drop. So it definitely is very dependent on my area. I'd say shop around for as many different cars as you can. Most people say, you know, look at Corsas, look at Fiestas, etc. But I say think outside the box. Uh, you think about how many young youngsters, if, you, if you've got mates that drive, chances are you know someone who owns a Vauxhall Corsa, or you know someone who owns a Ford K8, or you know, one of those typical cars. And obviously uh, insurers now watch out for those cars as people who are young drivers involved in accidents or more likely to be involved in accidents and then the premiums start going up again for those cars. So like I say, think outside the box. Sometimes bigger engine cars that aren't very popular at all uh, or even stuff like, like I was saying, the, the Skoda Fabia, it's not a popular car with young drivers at all. It's mostly driven by elderly people and uh, small engines, fairly reliable, uh, Volkswagen Audi group vehicles. Um, a friend of mine's a Skoda technician, and he, you know, he works on them, and he says they're probably about as reliable as the equivalent Fiesta or Corsa or anything like that. So it's worth looking out for. Um, other than that, I'd say if you can't afford to do your own policy, I'd say don't bother. Uh, I know people who have gone on their parents' policies. For example, you say, you know, oh, this is my car, but. My dad is the owner, and he is the main driver, and I'm a second driver. And it doesn't it doesn't do you any favours. If you get pulled by police, you might have issues with that. Um, I never did it myself. I thought I'll just do it legit. And when you do it legit, it pays off because you get that no claims bonus. And like I said, for me personally, I went from a small car to a bigger car with a bigger engine, more powerful engine. And uh, in that time it had reduced, my policy had been, uh, with, a, with an accident declared as well, my policy has gone from 2000 to 1200 That is a drastic difference and bear in mind my new policy is without a black box as well. So there's no restrictions on it at all. Um, so it really is worth doing it on your own. If you can't afford to do it on your own, then it's probably not a good idea for you to do it just yet. Because uh, even though you know when I was that age, I wanted to just get out, get driving, it's not necessarily worth it unless you can do it on your own. Obviously, if you've got parents to help you pay for car insurance, perfect. But uh, I was in the position where I had to do it all myself, so I paid for the car. I paid £975 for my first car, and then I paid the insurance monthly, the two grand over the year, um, and used my job to pay for that. And uh, then, obviously, now I've got the car finance as well, on my Astra, which was £5,000. So um, it's, it's worth figuring out financially, but my, my advice to you would be, uh, from, from my experience, I would say, Obviously, shop around. That's something that you will be doing anyway. Look, look at cars that are outside the box. Don't just look at your standard courses and, and whatever just because it's got a low, low, uh, small engine. Rather, uh, look at think outside the box. Skodas and and, uh, and and smaller manufacturer Hyundai's. You know, you know things like that. Things that aren't necessarily as common on the road uh, or common with younger drivers that will probably help you significantly. Um, and uh, another thing is. Um, always declare any accidents or anything like that that can get you in trouble if you don't do that obviously it's going to bump up your premium more you know if you've got points on your license for example you just have to declare them unfortunately um, car modifications a lot of people choose not to declare um, it, it really depends on the insurer about that but they say it's best to declare mods as well but if you're not thinking of modifying your car if you just want to get out of there get on the road get driving um, shop around definitely uh, check out that Tesco black box insurance uh, they are pretty good, uh, probably the best uh, that I could recommend for black box insurance. I know a lot of people have gone for different companies for the black box and they're a lot more intrusive, they're a lot more restrictive and some of them even uh, uh, mark you down for driving at night and that sort of thing and I think that's a bit ridiculous. It's very big brother sort of being watched all the time and all that sort of thing. You should be trusted on the road if you're not going to drive like a lunatic then 
you know, there's no reason why they should be watching over you. So that is my advice, guys. Uh, shop around, look at, look at cars that you wouldn't necessarily think of, um, and uh, look for discounts as well. Like I said, the club card discount is a great one. It does actually make a big difference when you're looking at such a high um, premium, and definitely work on uh, bringing your no claims bonus uh, into play. Um, so uh, get looking on Auto Trader for the for the cars in your price range. Um, and just hammer the quotes, hammer the quotes, and also ring up, do ring up, because sometimes they can say, oh actually, yeah, the price that you got online, yeah, but you, you haven't included this detail or something like that. So sometimes you can get cheaper, sometimes you get more expensive, or sometimes you can ring up a company and say, look, another company's quoted me this much, can you match it? And they'll say, yeah, sure. So it really is worth putting the time and effort into. Um, I know for me, when I was uh, first looking into it, it was a very, uh, very, very daunting task and uh, you do feel a bit overwhelmed by the facts and figures but I hope I've helped some of you today uh, just sort of it's just small details I know a lot of this stuff you would have heard before but it's these small details um, it's always good to uh, hear from someone who's had the experience before so um, let me know what you want me to talk about in the future guys I've got plenty more videos lined up and uh, I hope this has been helpful as a in reintroduction to my channel and uh, hope to see you guys shortly